no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here and welcome back to another video. We are back here on Upper Mississippi River Valley. Today we are going to attempt to finish off the uh, spring cultivation. If we can. <clears throat> so I've only gone once around this field uh, so far. We'll go around again here and then work on finishing out the rest of it and hopefully see if we can uh, finish up the cultivation uh, in today's video. Uh, I had somebody suggest a planter to me here uh, a couple days ago. I mean it was recently for me but um, you know today is only Wednesday and this is a Friday video so um, a couple videos ago somebody suggested a grain drill to me and we can go ahead and take a look at that here um, it is the John Deere 8530 uh, it is two meters larger than our Massey and this one is actually pull behind um, it does the same crops so we might uh, might have to look into that one. Uh, I haven't messed around with it yet, so uh, I'm not going to buy it right now. I do want to kind of check it out in a test save game first. Uh, and just make sure it works pretty good and you know, no major issues with it or anything like that. But um, if all goes well, I will buy it and we can use that. It is a very nice little drill. Uh, originally started out in FS13. And uh, if it is the same as it was in 13, you should be able to hook multiple drills together. So if that is the case, we can uh, get maybe two of them and hook them together and uh, plant with 12 meters I don't know if I'd quite go with three of them because uh, in 13 you could hook up to three of them together but uh, I don't know if I would necessarily hook three of them together maybe if we could run like 18 meters that'd be about about the size of the swath that this thing takes here So I've uh, done some adjusting to the list of equipment for dairy farming. Uh, I was actually messing with some stuff here uh, on Goldcrest Valley. Just kind of playing around with uh, some of the items that I was planning to buy. And changing up things a little bit uh, to just kind of be a little bit different of a style I guess you could say. Kind of, it also would make it be a little less expensive. And there's also a couple of things that I forgot about, like uh, the tractor that I buy for loader work uh, actually has a loader on it. I forgot about that, so I had price, you know, put in the price for the front loader, but I did not need to do that because it already has one on it. So, uh, yeah. So that helped a little bit too. I mean, that was eight thousand dollars I didn't have to spend, and um, you know, a couple other items that I found that I didn't need. So, and then a couple items that I did need, a couple items that I just wanted to change for a different one, that kind of stuff. So, <clears throat> um, the video for me, the video where I asked about the dairy equipment or like you know asked you guys your opinion about dairy 
that hasn't gone up yet so at the moment for me I don't know if we're actually going to be buying that stuff after planting or not um, <clears throat> so I'm not gonna give any spoilers now as to like what our equipment is uh, once we get you know if we do decide to get into dairy uh, then I'll show the equipment off then that we will be using um, because we'll be buying it obviously so you guys can see it then <clears throat> um, I know everybody enjoyed the farm tour video on my large save game I had a lot of people say I'd rather watch this series but uh, I'm not starting out with seven million dollars in equipment we're going to stick to this save game and build our way up to running a large scale farm like that um, of course it would probably be a little bit different in some aspects but it would also be quite the same in others but uh, I'm not not going to do s a series on that save game because that's it's just far too large to just start out on I'm enjoying starting out the way that we are and building the, building us building our business up. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Goodness. are making pretty short work of this field as well so I've been uh, you know I finally finished uh, the tillage on my large save game and driving around to some of the fields um, making boundaries and looking at other fields I have found quite a few other fields that we can expand to in future season in future years I guess I should say uh, in future years um, looking at like field uh, yeah I'm just going to stop here otherwise I'm going to mess stuff up um, where is my mouse cursor okay, I need to mess battery again there we go um, so looking at like fields 11, field 10 um, those would be really good fields to uh, move to or like add to the fleet and even like field six and even field five you know even this like this whole entire area here is has some fairly decent uh, fields around it and they are you know really really good sized so <coughs> uh, definitely an area that I will expand to in the future. There is lots of uh, good potential there. At the moment, the only things that I think we'd really want to upgrade before we expand fields is probably the plow and then the seeding equipment. Because um, it, you know, I mean, we could get by. It would just take a little while to do all of the tillage and all the planting. I mean, even now, it probably will take a fair amount of time to do the planting. And it didn't take too terribly long to do all of the uh, early spring tillage but I mean of course we are still in early spring but <clears throat> um, yeah I don't know I would definitely say upgrading the plow and the cedars before we move you know, especially if something that far away, but 
I definitely want to upgrade a little bit before I expand the operation. Even for these fields, you know, it wouldn't hurt to expand a little bit. So we're going to go over here and we're going to do this section. And then come back over to this one. So all we're going to do in this video is finish up the tillage and then uh, in tomorrow's video we will start the planting um, and then after I record this video I'm going to go and test out the uh, John Deere drill and uh, see how that works and <clears throat> decide if I want to use it or not. Uh, I have a feeling that we most likely will end up using it on here but unless it has some major issues with it or something like that. Uh, I definitely see us using it. So yeah, what we'll do, um, in fact, what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to shut the timer off, and we're just going to finish cultivating this field, get this tractor and cultivator washed up and everything parked away again, and then we'll uh, call it a video there, and I think we'll probably be somewhere around our half hour mark maybe a little more maybe a little less but I don't want to start planting right now because I do want to test out that planter to know whether um, whether we're gonna get a different planter than what we have now or a drill I guess I should say um, or if we're just gonna be using the one that we have because I don't want to just start planting and then oh hey we're changing to this and of course the um, uh, we can't start planting like the corn or anything because or the soybeans for that matter because I think we're doing wheat corn and beans I have I would have to look again I don't even remember myself right now but, um, you know, we can't start planting anything with our corn planter because we're not far enough into the spring to do that. Um, and our ground temperature is not high enough for that. So, uh, wheat is the only thing that we can plant right now. And I don't want to start planting until I know which drill we are going to use. Alright, so this piece is done so we just got that large one there and then uh, we're good to go I don't know if you guys remember me talking about the uh, sprayer add-on mod at all or not. Um, but I was talking about it one time, how I couldn't figure out how to use it. Well, I just went back here yesterday and uh, looked at the download page for it and read the uh, readme file. And it turns out the only way that you can actually get it to come up is if you have a sprayer that is specially set up for it. 
Uh, it did, you know, on the download, it did have a required mods thing. And I'm when I downloaded the sprayer add-on mod, I must have completely overlooked those. Uh, which really on Giants Mod Hub is not hard because it's just a little line where it's got a couple of highlighted things and I always scroll straight down to the screenshots and look at those or I'm um, all the way up clicking download so I never really look at that a lot of times but um, you know, I happen to notice that and it's basically a couple packs of sprayers that are set up for the sprayer add-on mod basically what they have to have done to them is you know they have to like have all of their nodes set up so that you can shut off you know each individual individual you know nozzle or the entire boom or even have like you know automatic uh, shut off where basically once it senses that you're far enough over top of other fertilized ground it'll automatically shut it off for you so uh, I didn't download the pack of sprayers yet I am gonna download it and then uh, see what's all in there for sprayers I think it's just like the in-game sprayers edited or something like that um, you know so that they work with this but I don't I don't know for sure but I'm guessing that's what it is and I haven't downloaded it yet but I am going to and then maybe we can use that on uh, this save game as well uh, use that in replace of this current sprayer that we have or actually maybe if maybe even one of those is actually the one that we have one of those edited sprayers so if that would, were the case I would just edit the uh, save game XML uh, edit the career save game or the uh, I mean the vehicles XML not the career save game the vehicles XML file to basically make it so it's the exact same sprayer model it's just from a different you know rather than being an in-game sprayer it would be that modded one that's set up for sprayer control or you know sprayer add-on whatever it is whatever you'd want to call it Alright, so we're done with the tillage. Uh, probably a pretty short video, but... Um, we're going to have quite a few long ones coming out in the future here, so... Because uh, with planting, I'll probably make the videos a little bit longer. Just to kind of get some stuff done in them. So we can take this back to the yard, we'll get these things washed up, get the cultivator put back, and we'll put the tractor and the combine back in the shed, and close it up. I do want to take a look at some different headers for the combine, uh, because I downloaded this pack. It's a New Holland 120 years pack. And these headers kind of go with the color scheme of the uh, combine that we have. You know, the red and yellow. Because we have a New Holland TR-96 combine. As you can see here, it's red and yellow. So, um, and it does have a sunflower header in it as well. So we have a 7.6 meter draper, 6 meter corn header, and a 5.7 meter uh, sunflower header and at the moment we're running a 5.5 meter grain head and a 4.5 meter corn head so we'd be expanding just a little bit um, and then adding a sunflower header to the mix uh, the only reason that I really didn't buy one is because there you know, wasn't a New Holland one in game and it uh, I didn't really like the size of it for you know, what we're running, but the one in that uh, 120 years pack would fit just perfect, and uh, it helps that it actually goes with the same color scheme as our combine does. So it makes a it goes together a whole lot better than 
what we have now. So we'll pull right up here next to the pressure washer. Had to wait for the dog to get out of the shot there. Hey, pooch. Alright, let's get this equipment cleaned up and get it parked away. This guy will be, this is the last time this guy needs to be out of the shed until fall. What the world? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see at the end of the nozzle there's a barrel floating in midair. I think uh, somebody forgot to put that barrel on the ground. <laughs> I have literally never noticed that before just now. That's too funny. Now sometimes these things are really picky about where the pressure washer can be for it to clean up. I don't know why, but they are. Now you can go to four different spots, and neither one, you know, and both of those will take like ages to wash anything. And then you'll go to another one and it's just like instantly clean almost. Alright, good enough. Alright, so we'll get this unhooked and get our stuff put back in the shed. And then we'll call her a day. back this cultivator right back over here where it was because we don't need to get back there for anything else because we are not doing sheep uh, I do not at all want to do sheep dealing with their pallets of wool gets really really annoying so no sheep for me so alright let's get this guy backed in the shed again Barely missed that barrel. Alright, so now we'll drive the combine in and we can close this shed door. Or these doors, I guess I should say, because there's two of them. This can actually go back just a little bit more. Right there is perfect. Alright, so the next thing that will need to come out is probably our 1206 here. We'll probably use that for planting. And then we'll probably use this guy to uh, run the Richard Western in the fall here. And the, some other machines, so... To get that out, the combine will have to come out again, but for the time being, we do not need to pull the combine out any longer. It can go inside the shed for a little while. Alright, so we'll take a look here. So our wheat, we can start planting now. Um, that's always the first thing that can be planted. And uh, everything else will just kind of have to wait a little bit. See if I can pick up this barrel once. Nope. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Um, you know what? Let's see. Do we have any eggs? Yes, we have nine of them. So let's go ahead and get these nine eggs picked up. I have no idea where you sell them, but... If you look, I can actually pick up this tractor and move it to get to eggs underneath of it. I did that on accident one day and I was like, whoa, did I really just pick that up? Alright, we just got this one left here. Alrighty, 
So, we're going to pull the pickup up by the house. And we will call it a day. Uh, I'm not going to put it in the garage. I'm just going to pull it up next to the house here. Alrighty guys, that is going to do it for today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys. As always, we'll see you tomorrow.